Yo, what's going on guys, it is Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and this is episode number 18 of Schumacher Returns and this is the penultimate race of the season of 2005 calendar and it's starting to get to crunch time now as we're only 7 points behind Montoya in the World Drivers Championship and we're really starting to make a challenge for that World Drivers Championship and unprecedented 8th title for Michael Schumacher but uh, meanwhile we've got to focus on the task in hand and we're here at Suzuka and gearing up for a one and only qualifying lap here at the Japanese Grand Prix so let's see what Michael Schumacher can do here on his one and only qualifying lap as we gear up now as you can see down the pit straight here 320 k's almost going into turn 1 with Raikkonen infamously overtook Giancarlo Fisichella around the outside of 2005 going into turn 2 straight away dropping down the third gear make sure you get a good exit as we now go through the left right Canes, and then this is the best corners on the track literally trying to carry in all the momentum you possibly can whilst maintaining maximum speed here and trying to be as aggressive as possible but also smooth at the same time as we now go through the, the final part of the S's through the Dunlop curve I believe uphill and uh, we're now going to try and get across the first sector split and see where Michael Schumacher stands and he's currently uh, six temps down on King Rockins so not too bad as we go through the Degna through the second Degna now getting a pretty decent run through there getting a great exit as we now go uphill approaching the very tricky hairpin making sure they get it also down for the apex down the second gear make sure you get a great exit here to really propel you nicely down the following straight that we're going to get which is a curving right hand straight and then you've got to get ready for the breaking point of spoon curve which is a very tricky corner and a slightly off camber so you've got to be very careful with it as you can see breaking now down the fourth gear make sure you get the apex absolutely perfect run out a little bit wide and then swing it back in for the second half of spoon down the third gear then get him on the power straight away downhill as we now got on the back straight approaching the second sector split now let's see where Michael Schumacher stands compared to the other cars around him here as we come across it right now Michael's only two tenths down on Kimi Raikkonen so he's had a mighty middle sector pulling back an entire four tenths there as we now go into the final chicane here you've got to make everything count got to throw the car in there and try and hold it and make it stick as we get a good exit through the exit of that chicane now running to the line what can Michael Schumacher do here for qualifying in Japan it's going to be P5 for the time being and uh, four tenths off of Kimi Raikkonen there so not a great final sector but only four tenths off in qualifying here in Japan so pretty decent lap there from Michael Schumacher and he in the end finished in P6 so looking at the final qualifying results you can see that Kimi Raikkonen stuck his McLaren on pole for yet another race with Heidfeld in second and then Mark Webber in third so both Williams in second and third then both of the Renaults in fourth and fifth with Alonso beating Fisichella then Michael in fifth uh, sorry in sixth then both of the BARs in seventh and eighth and Montoya crucially way down in P9 but look at that the top 9 covered by half a second so incredible stuff there but uh, we're going to move into the race now and this is where it all counts as you can see we're waiting for the red lights here in Japan can Michael try and get himself into the leader championship but he's getting a lot on Montoya here as the lights go green at Japan and Michael gets a great start off the line here trying to mash the runner straight off the bat as we go side by side with Fisichella into turn 1 who's going to blink first on the brakes Fisichella just about breaks a little bit later than Michael Schumacher but Michael dives it back up the inside of turn 2 getting squeezed onto the curve a little bit of contact between the two of them but Michael Schumacher eventually gets the legs on Fisichella on the exit and takes P5 from him as we now go through the S's for the first time this race as you can see side by side actually up ahead but eventually Weber manages to stay ahead of Alonso but uh, Michael's all over the back of Alonso however Fisichella now wants to get back in the action and try and have another fight with Michael and try and get back his P5 that he started from as we go side by side now into Degna and is Fisichella going to try and make the move it's a little bit of contact there but Michael just about stays ahead of the Italian driver for the time being as we move on to lap 3 here right on the back of Mark Webber going on the exit of the hairpin getting some great traction through the corner and look at the straight line speed of the Ferrari compared to the Williams all over the back of him and trying to pick up some city stream here but Webber just about has the edge on the brakes and straight line speed into the next corner into Spoon and Marco has to settle behind Webber for now but Webber going very slowly here for, for through Spoon for some reason and losing a lot of time so Webber might have some sort of problem with his car and Marco just goes around the outside of the second half of Spoon there so some sort of problems for the Australian driver but Webber still coming back at Marco though into 130 is he going to try and make the move up the inside here no he doesn't he thinks about to it and he backs down almost causes a massive crash behind but uh, midway through lap 6 Michael is on the back of Giancarlo Fisichella now and he's on the back of Heidfeld so once Michael gets past both of these guys he can maybe try and hunt down Kimi Raikkonen but meanwhile Michael's got work to do trying to get past Fisichella picking up some city stream here is he going to try and go up the inside of Spoon no he doesn't and uh, similar to Mark Webber he just can't make the move on the brakes into that corner and he's got to settle back for the time being as we now get a good exit through the Spoon corner to be fair and he's going to actually propel him quite nicely down the back straight here and he's now all over the back of Fisichella oh sorry Alonso I've been saying Fisichella this entire time uh, it's actually Alonso getting it wrong I do apologize but uh, here's Alonso now and Michael Schumacher going south by side 
through the exit of the final corner here at Japan. Fantastic action so far, and, J and Alonso not letting the move go there, but eventually he has to yield the position and settle behind Michael Schumacher, but Alonso there really putting up a good fight, and this was the track where Alonso obviously famously overtook Michael Schumacher around the outside of a 130R, and I say that now, Alonso is now trying to creep up on Michael here. Is he going to try and go up the inside of 130R this time? No, he doesn't. He almost did it, almost like a replica of what he did way back in 2005, but uh, a bit of a different move would have been up the inside this time, but uh, as you can see, both of the Renaults have caught up now. Heifold has actually pulled away in the distance, and uh, Heifold sort of found some magical plays out of nowhere, and meanwhile, Alonso and Michael have actually stayed here battling it out for P3, and now going into the pit straight onto the start of lap 10, Alonso Fisichella all over the back of Michael Schumacher here into turn 1, and Michael just holds on for the time being, and both of the Renaults looking very threatening so far, and uh, Michael's third place is looking in severe jeopardy. Meanwhile, Montoya is still in ninth place, as you can see on the left-hand side of your screen there, so that is crucial for the championship. Michael's just got to hold on to this position for the time being, and that will be pretty much all of the deficit of seven points made up in the championship, but uh, here we go. On the exit of Spoon Corner, Alonso gets a great exit through the corner, and as you can see in the bottom right, my brake is sticking at the moment, so I'm struggling for straight line speed, but Alonso's going to try and go for the move up the inside of 130R. This time he does commit to it, but he just can't make and stick. Michael Schumacher runs off onto the grass because of it, and uh, both of the Renaults get past momentarily. Side by side action now into the chicane. Fisichella also getting past Alonso again, all out of shape. Michael gets better traction than Fisichella, and he actually manages to get ahead of him. But uh, now Alonso's up ahead. Michael's going to crank up the engine to the maximum boost possible here, and look at the straight line speed. He's going to fly past Alonso here, way before turn one, and go around the outside. And I can't keep up with this action, but Michael makes the move for P3 and retakes that position as we move on to the final lap of the Grand Prix. Into the chicane, Michael managed to get a bit of breathing space between himself and Alonso, but that was all she wrote for this race here at Japan as Schumacher comes across the line and he's going to come home for a brilliant P3, and that's going to be a question of waiting to see where Montoya finishes the race. He's P9 at the moment, but we're going to see what happens in the final race results here. As you can see, and Luzal Montoya has crossed the line in P9. We're going to confirm it right now, and that is indeed the case. As you can see, Montoya finishes in P9, Margot finishes in P3. So that, what that means is the gap is down to one point for the final race of the season. We're obviously looking at confirmation after in the standings, but uh, meanwhile, Raikkonen wins another race, so Raikkonen really hitting some incredible form in this latter end of the season, and also Hardfall takes second place there to run off the podium with Michael Schumacher in third, then both of the Renaults in fourth and fifth, and both of the BARs in sixth and seventh, but uh, wow, crucially, Montoya down in P9, and looking at the final, as you see, the driver standings here after that race, Montoya is one point ahead of Michael Schumacher going into the final race of the season at China. So this is going to set up an absolute stonker of a finale. Now, um, you can see that Raikkonen there is in P3, also on 89 points. He's out of the running officially, but he's really ended the season strongly, overtaking Nick Heidfeld for third place there. So both of the McLarens really finishing strong here, but uh, crucially, the finale is going to be between Marco Schumacher and Juan Pablo Montoya, and there is one point to split the two drivers. So that is going to be absolutely incredible in the next race in China. Now, look quickly looking at the second half of the table. No changes here. Once again, the second race is in succession. No one in the bottom half has scored points, but uh, finally looking at the final constructors' results, you can see that McLaren Obviously, they wrapped that up a long time ago, but it's looking like it's looking like Renault have got second place more or less in the bag, unless they both have like a double DNF or something in the last race. It's going to be between Ferrari and Williams for that third spot in the constructors. But nevertheless, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed the video. Leave a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know if you're excited for the finale, guys. I can't wait. China's going to be an absolutely incredible race. I can tell you already, and it's going to be one to not miss because can Michael possibly become an eight times world champion? I guess we'll have to see in the next video. But hopefully, you guys have enjoyed this one if you can let's see if we can try and smash maybe 80 likes for this race guys and if you're new on here please be sure to subscribe to my channel and i'll see my next video very soon goodbye soon